Uh, I'm Mala Siva Pragasa, Country Manager for Southeast Asia, and I am based in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Reading has over 125 years of history, established as a branch campus of University of Oxford, and we received our Royal Charter in 1926, which means we are 94 years old. Location? Reading is 25 minutes from central London by train, 40 minutes from Heathrow International Airport by coach, and 25 minutes from Oxford by train. Reading is definitely the Silicon Valley of England. Oracles, Yahweh, Microsoft, and many more have offices in Reading. Reading is also a regional hub for shopping, especially for girls. I know boys uh, do enjoy shopping as well. About our university, the only university to be awarded a royal charter between the two world wars. Since beginnings, Reading has educated 150 people from 180 countries. Our first international student was from Kenya. He joined in 1904. Four-time winner of the Queen's Anniversary Prize for Higher Education, top university green space in the UK, receiving a ninth green flag award in 2019. A picture of our green campus and our fantastic campus is something we are very proud of. Still on our university, 98% of our research is internationally recognized. Reading is ranked 205 worldwide in the QS World University Rankings 2020. 94 of our graduates in work or study within six months of graduating. Reading is among top 30 UK universities featured in the QS World University Ranking 2020. Some of our subjects are in the top 20 in the UK, as you can see on the list. Key statistics, it's important to know. On campus, we have more than 20,000 students, including offshore students as well. 15,000 plus students are home students. Of course, majority are home students. International students, approximately 3,830 3, from around 180 different countries. 80% of our UG graduates with first or second class upper. For PG students, 78% with distinction or merit. Campus, we have few campuses. Our main campus is called White Knights Campus. It's a 130 hectare campus, uh, including modern and also uh, traditional uh, buildings as well. London Road, which is about 10 minutes from our White Knights Campus. Uh, School of Education, Architecture, exams and graduations are being held on London, London Road Campus. Greenlands, it's for Henley MBA and executive uh, education. Not forgetting our Malaysian campus, which is in Johor Bahru. This is the map, campus map, main campus. Uh, as I mentioned, 130 hectare. As you can also see it on the map, uh, the red uh, blocks are academic buildings. And look at the purple... Uh, colors here, purple ones are all our accommodation, which is on campus. We have close to 20 different uh, halls, depending on your preference and budget as well. Reading Town is about 10 minutes by bus ride. 
everybody walks in the weather uh, in the UK, the weather will permit everyone to walk as well. It's about 20 minutes walk. Academic structure is divided into four divisions, arts, humanities, and social science, science, life sciences, and Henley Business School. Majority of our courses have placement. International Foundation Program, university-owned program with over 30 years of experience. University of Reading lecturers teach on the program. Guaranteed place at the University of Reading upon successful completion of IFP. Three intakes in a year, September, January and July. 96% passing rate in the past three years with 79% progression to degrees at the University of Reading. Last year, we offered 2,500 pounds automatic scholarships for Malaysians and Singaporeans. Foundation students have access to all university facilities. Admissions process. International Foundation program, we have an online application undergraduate through UCAS, postgraduate agent portal, we call it uh, as RISIS. Entry requirements, uh, it's uh, good to have an idea as well. UG, A-levels ranging between AAB or AAA to triple Bs. Some programs require subject specific grades. IB ranging between 30 to 35 points, including HL subjects. PGT, minimum second class lower at bachelor's degree as per the table, but majority of the courses are either second class upper or high to two. IELTS requirement for UG is 6.5 for most programs. Triple one nine is acceptable, minimum C. For PGT is 6.5, small number of specialist courses for UG and PGT ask for 7.0 or 8.0. Scholarships. We have uh, a range of scholarships for international students each year. Uh, master's uh, scholarship are ranging between £1,000 to £5,000. Chevening scholarship is uh, extremely popular as well. And Henley Business School provides more than 100 scholarships uh, with £1 million in funding. International student support Academic English program is free to enhance language and academic skills to all international students. At Reading, over 150 clubs and societies. Ramza, Malaysian uh, society, is extremely uh, active uh, in Reading. Our career support is top 10 in the UK. Reading has a long history in Malaysia and very strong alumni network. We also conduct seminars led by industry partners and regular career workshops. Accommodation, which I mentioned, uh, we have almost 5,000 rooms on campus. Most of our accommodations are within walking distance, uh, between 10 to 15 minutes walk, as I, as I mentioned. The weather will permit you to walk anywhere and everywhere. The budget would be ranging between £133 per week to £200, depending on your budget and preference. Standard rooms without wash base C, it's about £133 per week. 
Suite rooms can cost you £200 per week. So we have catered, self-catered options as well. How to apply? Uh, normally, uh, students have to apply uh, via me at Reading. It's an applicant portal. Once uh, when students uh, accepted uh, firm choice of, uh, of UG applicants, we guarantee accommodation to all offer holders if they were to apply by 1st of August. 250 booking fee once accommodation offer accepted. Some of the pictures of our accommodation. Uh, this is McKinder Hall, which is very close to the library. I would say less than a five minutes walk and Henley Business School as well. A modern looking accommodation and it's extremely popular among students. Chanton Town Houses. Vantage Hall, a traditional looking building. Lessex Hall. This is how the student room looks like. Kitchen space, isn't it big? For students to actually cook as well. Ah, this is the library. Uh, our library uh, is open 24-7. Uh, and the good news is that it is refurbished and it was completed last year. We have more than 1 million books in the library. Sports Park. We have uh, badminton, volleyball, uh, basketball and cricket. Tennis court. Some are fully uh, air -corned. Okay, This would be for boys, uh, as you. Okay, look at that. Help us highlight the general conditions that applies for studying, uh, you know, anywhere in the UK, which we we'll expect, of course, we also apply to University of Reading. Uh, so maybe let's start with that. What participants or students need to know generally about key issues that they, maybe they should take cognizance of when they are thinking about studying in the UK in general and at the University of Reading in particular. Yes. Hello? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I think you're you. Okay. okay. <laughs> yes. And uh, I would say uh, generally um, students have to uh, look at the, of course, the university as a whole, uh, the location and the subjects, uh, subjects, the modules, and, uh, and of course, uh, accommodation uh, options and, uh, and uh, campus life. Yeah. Okay, uh, so um, next question will be, let's see. So are there opportunities for short-term courses or non-degree non -degree programs? Sorry, not, not at the University of Reading. Oh, okay, okay. only degree granting. Okay, uh, so uh, how about scholarships for, uh, I know you mentioned something for citizens of Malaysia. What about other uh, countries in Southeast Asia and Africa? Do you have oh, scholarships? Yes, uh, for yes, that, yes. Huh? we do have uh, scholarships uh, for IFP for most of the countries, which is an automatic scholarship, 2,500 pounds. Otherwise, a lot more scholarships for PGT and PGR. And for UG, we are trying to work on uh, scholarships and uh, hopefully uh, by January next year, we will know, uh, we will know more information uh, on the scholarships for UG. Okay. And then next question. Uh, immigration opportunities, are, are there any that are open to uh, students who study at uh, Reading? Yeah, because uh, participants are usually interested in this, like, okay, if I go to study, if I wish to stay back to make a life in the UK, is that opportunity there for students who study at uh, Reading? Uh, 
Yes, uh, we have this, uh, what do you call that? Uh, it is called two-year work-study visa. So, which will, uh, which will start next year. So, students are... Uh, are eligible or even are allowed to stay back in the UK for two years upon completing their studies. Uh, will this apply to all levels of study or is it for a particular group? Uh, I would say for uh, PGT, uh, for PG students for now. Okay, it doesn't apply to undergraduates. Yes. Oh, and, and is this going to be automatic? Or, is there, or are there going to be other conditions that they have to fulfill? No, I would say uh, it's uh, automatic. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, next question. Okay. So how long on the average does it take to process admission? Let's say okay. from full application, I mean, full submission of application documents to uh, offer letter. Between we four to six weeks. Months. Okay, four to six weeks. Yes. Okay. And then uh, you already mentioned about the foundation program. So the question here will be, do you accept SPM and IGCSE directly? Oh, yes, or we do. Yes, okay. we do. Do they have to take foundation programs first or they can start their degree program straight? With IG, SPM, they have to do foundation first. Okay. okay. So how about working during uh, studying? Oh, Are yes. there any opportunities for that? Okay, of course. Uh, student visa will allow students to work 20 hours per week. So many of our students uh, will take this opportunity and we have a lot of uh, job opportunities on campus and also in Reading uh, Town because Reading Town is just 10 minutes by bus ride. Uh, are they, so students are permitted to work off campus? Yes. Okay, okay. So uh, I think that's uh, one of the questions someone is also asking. So then how about credit transfer for students who are already studying maybe in their countries or in some other countries? Is there um, an opportunity uh, for we, that? We have to actually uh, look at it uh, on case-to-case -case basis and we have accepted uh, credit uh, transfers in the past. So admissions have to review the the, the documents and the transcripts and we'll get back uh, to the students accordingly. Okay. Then, so, so this is a question from a master's student. Um, in my second semester of master's program, can I transfer? So can postgraduate student transfer studies or is it only open to undergraduate students? Undergraduate. So postgraduates cannot be transferred. Yes. Uh, yes, we do offer uh, PhD programs. Yes, in writing, we have uh, we have many programs uh, in uh, PG. Okay. Okay. So I think. But uh, PG works uh, slightly uh, uh, differently. Uh, I would suggest uh, for the students to actually get ready their research proposal first. Yeah. And and uh, just get in touch with either one of us, and uh, we will actually send it to graduate school uh, to to get back to us. Uh, and uh, uh, they have to actually uh, find a supervisor first before putting yeah. in an application. Yeah. Tuition fees, uh, we are looking at about between £16,000 to £20,000 per year. Okay, per year. Yes, so depending, correct. So depending on the programs as well, yeah. I would say it is just for Chivney. For what? Chivney Scholarship. Oh, Chivney. Okay. Yes. Reading's uh, scholarship uh, maximum, uh, except Henley Business School. Henley Business School uh, provides 50% scholarship. Uh, other non-Henley, uh, maximum is uh, 5,000 pounds. Oh, yes. 
Yeah. But it's depending, yeah, because we have so many uh, uh, scholarships as well available for uh, PhD students, yeah. Uh, we can always uh, check the qualification and get back to you. We don't uh, require you to uh, contact, uh, require you to have a uh, supervisor. It's just for PhD. No, they can't. They have to get a supervisor. Okay, Malaysian okay. campus, uh, it is uh, closer to Singapore, which is in Johor Bahru. And they have very limited programs, uh, which uh, foundation, they do offer foundation uh, just in business. Uh, and uh, they, they have law, business, psychology, QS, and so on. Yes, about, about eight different programs at the Malaysian campus and just undergraduate programs for okay. now. For, uh, for tuition fees, we have uh, two installments. Uh, the first one uh, is due in September and the second one is due in January. Uh, no, that's about it. It's just the tuition fees and, of course, the accommodation uh, as well, uh, depending on uh, on uh, on uh, per week uh, accommodation. Yep. Yeah. Free uh, to choose that. Oh yeah, of course, of course. Majority of our UG students they prefer to stay on campus. Oh, it's not compulsory. We don't make it compulsory. 